Migration to GST in Busy. This presentation will give you an overview on implementing steps for migration to GST in Busy. With effect from 1st July 2017, GST will be implemented and you will be required to enter transactions in GST. But at times, need may arise that you want to enter previous day transactions for VAT or modify any previously entered transactions. For this, Busy has provided a dual mode for using both VAT and GST in PC. Basically, by clicking F12 key, you can anytime switch between VAT and GST mode. If you want to enter GST transactions, then you can enter in GST mode. And if, if you want to enter or modify VAT related transactions, then you can switch to VAT by clicking F12 key. When you will switch to GST in Busy, all the default masters like accounts, bills and re, sale types, tax categories will be created automatically. You majorly have to update the GSTI number and state of the party masters and HSN code in all the existing item masters. In this presentation, we will now have a look at the steps involved in, in migration to GST in Busy in existing com. Step 1. Open existing Busy company and change text type to GST and create default GST related masters. Step 2. Check update GST rates for existing tax category masters. Step 3. Check update HSN code for existing item masters. Step 4. Check update GSTI in state for existing party master. Step 5. Configure standard printing invoice format for GST. On performing the first 5 steps, you are ready to work in GST. After performing these steps, you are ready to enter GST related transactions and view print GST reports. So first of all, you need to open existing busy company and set tax type to GST and create default GST masters. For this, we will go to Administration, Configuration, Features, Options, VAT, GST tab. Here you can see the type of tax is being appearing as VAT. Change it to GST. On selecting the type as GST, a Create Default GST Masters button start appearing. Click this button to create default GST related masters. You can see on the screen that Busy is showing a message box with default sale purchase types, bill sundries and account masters for GST are created. Next, a message box will appear showing that tax category masters of VAT will be updated to meet GST requirement. This is a very important and useful feature that by clicking yes button in this message box, all your existing tax categories of VAT will be updated to meet the GST requirement like tax categories for VAT 1 to 3 percent will be updated to GST 3 percent, VAT 5 to 12 percent will be updated to GST 18 percent and VAT 12 to 15 percent will be updated to GST 28 percent. So you do not need to update the tax category master also. Here an important point to note is that single tax category can be used for both VAT and GST transactions. Next, enter GSTIN of your company and click save button to save the configuration. Now we'll go to sale type. Here you can see on the screen all the default sale types are being created in busy. IGST 28% when we open this sale type in modify mode, this sale type is meant for interstate in which IGST at the rate of 28% will be applied. Similarly, we'll open LGST 28% in modify mode. Here it is showing that it is for local transaction and CGST at the rate of 14% and SGST at the rate of 14% will be applied in this sale type. Next, we will view the list of bills and remasters. Here also you can see all the bills and remasters related to GST are created automatically. We have opened CGST bills and remasters in modify mode. Here you can see bills and remasters nature as CGST and it is calculated on taxable amount. Next, we will view the list of account masters here CGST, IGST and SGST account masters are created automatically under the group duties and taxes with tax type as CGST, SGST and IGST respectively. Our next step is to check update GST rates for existing tax category master. Although in the step 1, if you have clicked yes button in the message box which asked you for updating the tax category master, the current tax category masters are updated automatically. You can check these tax categories and update them according to your requirement. Here you can see in the list that name of the tax category masters are changed. Like in 12.5% tax category, GST 28% is being appended. In the 5% GST 18% is being appended. So the names are also changed to meet the requirements of both VAT and GST transactions. We are opening 12.5% GST 28% tax category in modify mode. On the left hand side you can see the rates of GST, CGST, SGST at the rate of 14% and IGST at the rate of 28%. On the right hand side it 
is showing the VAT related information that if this tax category is used in VAT transaction then VAT 12.5% will be charged and if this tax category is used in GST transactions then CGST and SGST at the 14% rate and IGST at 28% will be charged. Click save button to save your changes. Next we will go to master's bulk updation menu. This menu is especially created to take care of GST related needs. In this menu various options are provided. First we will go to check update rates in tax category master. By using this utility you can check and update rates in multiple masters in one go. In the screen you can see all your tax categories are being shown with the CGST, SGST and IGST rate. You can check them and update them as per your requirement. Our next step is to check and update HSN code tax category for existing item masters. In the item masters tax category names are automatically being changed because their name has been changed. Next you need to update the HSN code for each and every item. For this there are two steps either you go to item master modify mode and update the HSN SEC code for single item. Like here we have opened the item in modify mode and have specified the HSN and SSE code for the item. But if you want to update HSN SEC code in multiple items then you can go to masters bulk updation check update item HSN text category option. On clicking this option, first of all you need to specify the range of item master that is you want to update HSN tax category in all the masters, selected item masters or group of item master. First of all we have selected all the items. Here on the screen you can see all the items are appearing. You can update the HSN code and tax category for them. At the bottom of the window update HSN code in all rows and update tax category in all rows buttons are appearing. By clicking this button you can specify the HSN code and tax category which will be updated in all the rows in the window. We again go to the select range window here we have selected the group of item master. We have selected the group as refrigerator. Now when we click the update HSN code in all rows button a window appeared in which we have specified the HSN code for the group refrigerator. This HSN code is updated in all the rows in the window. Here currently only two rows are appearing but if you have very large number of items and this is very helpful for updating HSN code or tax category in multiple items in one go. Next busy has also provided a utility for updating HSN code description and unit quantity code. For this you can go to administration miscellaneous data entry update HSN SSC code description option. On clicking this option you can specify the description and unit quantity code for each and every HSN code you have created. Next step is to check update GSTI state for existing party master. For this we will open an account in modify mode and update the GSTN number of that party. Here we have opened Gita Traders party in modify mode. On the screen you can see the state as Delhi and state code as 07. By pressing Alt M key in the state field you can modify the name of the state or state code. After this you need to enter the GSTN number of the party and click save button to save the party master. For updating GSTN and state in multiple parties in one go you can go to bulk updations Check update GSTI in state for party option. On clicking this option first of all you need to specify the account master range that is you want to view the list for all the masters, selected masters or group of master. Here we have selected the group of master option and specified the group as sundry debtors. On the screen you can see the list of sundry debtors. Here you can update the GSTN number and state of various parties. At the bottom of the window update state in all rows button appearing on clicking which you can specify the state which will be updated in all the rows in the window. Basically if you have created the groups like sundry debtors Delhi, sundry debtors Punjab then you can select the account master range as sundry debtors Delhi and update Delhi state in all the masters that are being shown on the screen. Our next step is to configure standard invoice printing format for GST. For this we will go to administration, configuration, invoice document printing, standard sales invoice option. Here on the screen you can see various options are appearing. You can enable the print billing shipping details separately option if required. On clicking the self configured option a screen is appearing. Here various fields for HSN code, CGST, SGST and IGST are appearing. At the bottom of the window an option remove unnecessary GST column is appearing. On clicking this option you can remove unnecessary GST column. Basically by enabling this option only those columns from CGST, SGST and IGST will appear that have some data in them. 
If you disable this option, then all the three columns for CGST, SGST and IGST will appear in the invoice. After performing these five steps, you are now ready to work in GST. That is, you are ready to, to enter transactions related to GST and view print GST related reports. Our next step is to enter transactions for GST. First of all, we will enter a purchase voucher by going to transactions, purchase, add option. Here we have specified the date as 1st July 2017 and selected the purchase type as IGST 28% that means this is a central transaction. At the right hand side of the voucher you can see a label appearing showing that the tax type is GST. Select the party, select material center, select item here we have selected the item as Sony Bravia LED TV and we have purchased 5 pieces of this item. At the bottom we have applied the IGST bill entry at the rate of 28%. Click save button to save the voucher. Next we will enter a sales voucher here. We have selected the sale type as LGST 28%. That means this is a local transaction. Select the party. On selecting the party, a billing shipping details window appeared which is showing the state and state code of the party. Select item. Here we are selling Sony Bravia LED TV 2 pieces. Apply the bill entry. CGST at the rate of 14% and SGST at the rate of 14%. At the left hand side, GST summary is showing the CGST and SGST amount. Click save button to save the voucher. Next we will print this voucher. Here we will print this voucher in standard format which we have already configured. On the screen you can see the HSN code of the item and the CGST and SGST amount at the bottom of the pill. Next we will enter one more sales voucher. Here we have selected the sale type as IGST 28%. Select the party, material center, select item, cartridge washing, automatic machines, two pieces we have sold and apply the IGST 28% bill entry. Click save button to save the voucher. Now we'll print this voucher in standard invoice format. Here you can see the HSN code of the party and the IGST amount. Our next step will be to view print GST reports. For this we will go to display GST reports, GST summary, specify the date range for viewing the GST summary and on the screen you can see the complete GST summary for the specified date range. You can anytime switch between VAT and GST mode by pressing F12 key. Right hand side of the main screen you can see a label is appearing showing the current tax type and you can change it to another tax type by clicking the F12 key. Basically if you are working in GST mode then you can switch to VAT mode and if you are working in VAT mode then you can switch to GST mode by clicking F12 key. First of all we will have a look at certain checks and controls that Busy has applied to avoid mistakes in dual mode. That is. Sale purchase types for VAT can be created and modified in VAT mode only and sale purchase type for GST can be created and modified in GST mode only. Similarly, transactions entered for GST can be modified in GST mode only and transactions entered for VAT can be modified in VAT mode only. Now, as you can see on the screen, our current tax type is GST and if we open a VAT sale type, then you can see the save button is appearing as disabled. That means you cannot make any changes in VAT sale type when the tax type is selected to GST. Similarly, we have opened a previous VAT transaction that is previously entered by transaction. Here also you can see the save button is disabled. That is you cannot make any changes in this voucher. At the top of the voucher you can see a label is also appearing that this voucher belongs to VAT and cannot be modified in the GST tax type mode. Now we will switch to VAT mode by pressing F12 key. At the right hand side you can see tax type is being shown as VAT. Now I am opening a sales voucher. Here you can see all the sale type related to VAT are appearing. That means now you can enter a voucher for VAT or can modify existing VAT vouchers. So by pressing F12 key you can enter previous date transactions for VAT or can make modifications in the existing VAT transactions. Other than this you can view our implementing GST in busy video on YouTube for more details on implementing GST in busy. Hope after going through this video you would be able to easily migrate to busy that is easily perform the steps required for a migration to GST. Thanks for watching for more videos subscribe to our YouTube channel.